Okay, guys, welcome. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn with the 21 Day Forgiveness Project. Now, what is the 21 Day Forgiveness Project? And before I go on, guys, you'll be able to find this information at the Laws of Attraction in Action and also the Laws of Attraction in Action, the Facebook group. You'll be able to find it there. So, the 21 Day Forgiveness Project. I've got some bullet points here that I just want to... Um, fire off to you. So I've got some bullet pro, uh, points here that I want to share with you. So the 21 day forgiveness project, what is it? The forgiveness project is all about you and understanding the empowerment that you can have from a personal experience and a personal experience of forgiveness. The project part of this is you are your project. This isn't a list or a task to do. This is a project. And it's a project because this is like a piece of a puzzle. There are more pieces that will um, spin off from here. Wrong word. There are more pieces that will be attached to this. That not only will secure your foundation, but will assist and support you in manifesting the things that you all say that you want. Okay, so this project is about creating the right foundation from which you can build whatever it is that you want in life. From health to wealth, to love, to finances, to fame, to fortune. The things that you may feel that have been out of your grasp, the things that you feel that you, you might just be able to, to, to grab hold of and they, they, they flip through your hands or your fingers like sand. So this is what the project is about. It's about you and understanding the power of the universal law of forgiveness. Forgiveness is God's law or whomever your chosen deity is. It's an immutable law. That means it's unchangeable. It's the underpinning or one of the underpinnings for you to manifest. If you cannot forgive what happens essentially is that you create blocks that are so difficult to go under, go round, go over, or go through. Forgiveness will and has and is preventing your blessings, preventing your manifestations, preventing your success, whatever phrase you want to use. So that was bullet point number one. The forgiveness project. It circumvents the need to go back inside and look at all this trauma and drama and drama and trauma and you know baby mama drama baby daddy drama mama drama you know grandparent drama you know work drama boss drama you know all of this it circumvents you it prevents you from having to go back into that and do that that's huge because that in itself will allow you to let go and move on, which is what we need to do. We hold on to a lot of stuff that we don't need to hold on to. We, we you know, also the, the, the forgiveness project as it is, it will actually allow you to come to that conclusion that this stuff I've been thinking about, this stuff I've been holding on to, it just doesn't matter. I let it go. It, it doesn't matter because it's not helping me. Is it helping you? Is it helping you? Is it helping you? Is it helping you? 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 No, it doesn't help you. Okay? So uh, bullet point number three. And this is huge. This is something that I believe at some stage I'll actually do a video on and or a webinar and or at, at the very least a talk on of course, a radio show. There are things that you have done in the past. Things that you have put your energy into. Things in that moment in time you were passionate about. And you see, one of the things that many people don't understand your word will never ever be returned to you void. 
That's God's law. It's a universal law. It's the universal creator's law. It's the universal architect's law. It is a law and it's immutable. So there are things that you might have done and said when you were 16, that based on where you are in life can only come into manifestation now. The forgiveness project helps to knock some of that on the head because you've changed. You're not the same person that you were when you were 16. However, you put this information out there and it's God's good pleasure to give you that which is the desire of your heart. So the forgiveness project really can take care of some of the things that you've done in the past and things you kind of, you know, most of us, our lives are unfolding in such a way that we don't understand why this is happening, but it's happening because of something that we did. This is why it's so important to be in the present. It's so important to be in the now. And I'm not saying that we're all robots and everything. I'm not saying that we're all robots and everything. But recognize that your emotional output and outpouring is something that has to come back to you. What you put out there comes back. So the next point is, why do you need this? Why do you need forgiveness? Why do you need the 21 day forgiveness project? Is your life turning out the way that you want it? Is yours? Is yours? Is yours? Is yours? Is your life turning out the way that you want it? Because if it's not, and it's not on a continuous basis, if things are happening to you the same way they keep happening to you, different people, but same action, if they're happening to you like that, then you need this. You need forgiveness and to understand what forgiveness is in your life and understand how forgiveness can transform your life because forgiveness is a transformative law. It's a, um, it is, it's a transformative law. It is one of the universal laws that will empower you, empower you by change, not for change, but it will empower you by change. Okay, so that's why you need it. If you want to create what you want in your life, you need forgiveness. You need to create the right foundation so you can build what it is that you want to build. And forgiveness will do this for you. In the previous video, I just want to point this out. In the previous video, I did state that you can love somebody and not condone what they do. You can love somebody and by virtue of loving them, you can also condone what they do, but you still love them. Forgiveness levels the playing field. Forgiveness cuts or snips those ties that bind you, that bind you to for all intent and purposes, negativity, toxicity in your life. So if you are wanting to create something in your life, forgiveness works in tandem with the universal law of space. It frees up space so that you can create. Once again, no two things can occupy the same space. It's impossible. I don't care what anybody says, it's impossible. And again, it is a universal law, a spiritual law, a natural law, God's law, Elohim's law, whomever your chosen deity is, the universal architect, the universal creator, it is a law and it's immutable. Two things cannot occupy the same space at the same time. Forgiveness allows you to let go or at the very least utilize things that have happened in your past to support you in where you're going in your future. And of course, I won't get, I won't get on the, the sidetrack of you need to know where you're going. That's a whole nother thing, but you do need to know where you're going. You need to make the choice and have clarity about where it is that you're going. Otherwise, where are you going? You won't know, but that's a whole nother story. So how does it work? I have another, I've got my paper here. 
the simple forgiveness technique and guys um be sure to download this you can download this from the facebook group the laws of attraction in action you can download this and i say download this download the pdf um, on the facebook group the laws of attraction in action and also the website if you go to how to use the laws of attraction underneath i think there's only one tab and you you click on that and you will be able to download the simple forgiveness technique well the simple forgiveness technique it, it, it really is simple first and foremost everything that you know about forgiveness you need to throw it out the window put it down the garbage disposal trash can what have you close the door on that today's a new day having a truer understanding of what forgiveness can do for you and how it can empower you so one thing we need to agree on we need to be in agreement with forgiveness starts with you and i say this because if you do not know what forgiveness feels like if you, don't know, if you don't know what it looks like for you, if you don't know what it tastes like, what it smells like, what it sounds like, how will you know forgiveness when it comes to your way? How will you know how to give it, let alone to receive it? So for you, you need to be engaged. All your senses need to be engaged so that you know what forgiveness it looks like, feels like, tastes like, smell like, smells like, sounds like. So that when it comes your way, as somebody says, please forgive me, you with truth and honesty from within, you can say, I forgive you. I forgive you because I know what it feels like. And if vice versa, it's the other way, okay, you've forgiven me. And I know you have because I know what it feels like. So again, we need to be on the same page. We need to be in accord that forgiveness starts with you. It also helps you to release and let go and be at peace so that you can start creating the foundation that you need. It helps you to let go of the past and, and past anxieties, emotions, you know, resentments, all this sort of stuff. It helps you to release that so that you can now build upon that space, that platform and a good platform at that, the things that you want. Now the forgiveness, um, 21 day forgiveness project isn't without its challenges and based on what has happened to you in life you may feel that other people need to ask you for your forgiveness i refer to back to where i started if you don't know what forgiveness feels like you cannot ask anybody to be asking you a forgiveness and at any rate if you feel somebody needs to ask for your forgiveness, that means that you are bound to them in a negative way. Snip the ties. Nobody needs to ask you for forgiveness. You need to make sure that you've forgiven yourself so that you can move on with your life. So that you can move on with your life. Okay. The journey that we're going to take into exploring the forgiveness or forgiveness is going to be a practice of 21 days. You can do this morning, noon, night, whenever, but select a time of day that works perfectly for you, that works in your schedule and select a time of day where you will not. And I repeat, you will not be interrupted. You see guys, all you need is three to five minutes every day for the next 21 days where you will not be disturbed and you can you can do your practice you can pr practice forgiveness so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the technique and it's really simple and then i'm going to tell you my personal story with forgiveness and then what i'm going to tell you about is what do we do after 21 days so the technique it's really simple you need 21 days. You can start whenever you want. You need 21 consecutive days. And you need to utilize the universal law of commitment, the universal law of discipline, the universal law of discipline, so that you can do this work 21 consecutive days. The simple forgiveness technique. Stand in front of a mirror and take three relaxing breaths. 
Inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. So you inhale through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. Relaxing your shoulders, let your shoulders drop down. Relax your shoulders, move it. Most of us do this. So you relax your shoulders, moving them away from your ears. And as you inhale and exhale, tell yourself you're gonna relax. Look at yourself in the eyes in the mirror and you repeat the following. I, and you use your name, I, Wendy, forgive myself for all things that I have done to myself, knowingly and unknowingly, willingly and unwillingly, consciously and unconsciously. I forgive myself. I am free. That's it. That's it. That's the forgiveness technique. Now, a lot of people will say, well, that's kind of, that's kind of simple. Some of the simplest things in life are the most powerful things in life. Some of the simplest things in life will bring the most change in your life, the change that is needed in your life. Don't allow the simplicity of this forgiveness technique. Don't allow the simplicity of it for you to say, oh, that's rubbish, I'm not gonna do it. Don't allow that, because you will miss out on a golden opportunity to create your foundation. Um, some people will find the mirror work very, very, very uncomfortable. There are some people will find it looking in a mirror too intense. So if you are somebody who finds doing the mirror work uncomfortable and it causes you additional anxiety or it doesn't allow you to focus 100% or you don't know which eye to focus on and that's always a trip wait till you start you don't know which eye to focus on or what have you then you can do the following you can simply sit somewhere where you're comfortable and the same thing same scenario three to five minutes um, for a day in in a day for 21 consecutive days where you won't be uh, disturbed you get to choose morning, noon and night. It can be two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon, you get to choose. So what you do if the mirror doesn't work for you so well, you sit comfortably where your back will be supported. You don't want to have to be uh, concentrating on making sure that, you know, you're not slouching or making sure you're not going to fall backwards. So you need to sit where your back will be supported. And of course, you're going to take the same thing, the three deep um, breaths, inhalation, inhaling, through your nose and out your mouth. And every time you do this, you relax your shoulders, pull your shoulders down from your ears. We, we, we live like this. So pull your shoulders down from your ears. And when you inhale, you inhale deep into your di diaphragm and feel the relaxation as you exhale. You can keep your eyes open or closed and you will repeat the affirmation that I just said the words three times, and I didn't say that, I neglected to say that um, with the mirror. When I was talking about the technique for the mirror, you need to repeat this three times. So you would say, I, me, Wendy, I forgive myself for all things that I have done to myself, knowingly or unknowingly, willingly or unwillingly, unconsciously or consciously. I forgive myself, I didn't say this the last time, I love myself, I am free. And then you say that three times and that's it. Now, if this particular affirmation doesn't work for you and it might not resonate for you and you need to know this at a core level, if it doesn't work for you, you need to find one that works for you or you need to write one that works for you. And if that's the case, create your own forgiveness affirmation, ensuring that it is spoken in the present tense i.e. I am and I have. Not I'm going to, not I will, not I hope, not, none of that. I am and I have. It is done. Very important. You do it any other way, you create it any other way, and you're always talking about, I'm hoping it would, if I would have, perhaps it could have. 
perhaps it should have. And that won't set the foundation that you need. So guys, that's the technique. Again, don't allow the simplicity of the technique to, to throw you. It's powerful, absolutely powerful. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to download the free PDF with the instructions with your simple, your very, very simple forgiveness technique. Download this at the laws, plural laws, of attraction in action.com and or please feel free to join the Facebook group. Check out the final video that talks about how the forgiveness experience and this forgiveness project came about. <laughs>